All right. Everyday bullshit. What's going on? Yes. Back at it. Here we go again, man. Happy October, everybody. It is another beautiful Taco Tuesday. Yes. Taco Tuesday here, October. It is fall. But fuck it, man. I live in Florida. You don't see no fall. You see heat. But temperatures have been dropping a little bit, making things a little bit easier on us. But all in all, yeah, it's fall, man. Get your spandex, get your Uggs. It's pumpkin spice season. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's what they do, man. You got to get the hoodies on. You got to get your Spanx. You got to get your Ugg boots. Go to your Starbucks and get your local freaking pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That that shit is such a big thing. But, you know, for girls, it's all about the pumpkin spice. It's all about the fall. Yeah. My wife, she loves the fall, man. This is it. And my daughter. My daughter caught me into pulling out all the Halloween decorations in September. So I ended up doing that. <laughs> you know, so are we decorating, Daddy? Are we decorating? All right. I'll pull them out. I got them out, pulled them all out, got them all set up in the house. Just haven't done the outside yet. Been waiting on that. The weather's been a little bit iffy. You know, we are Florida, so it does rain the same time every day for like an hour. You know, so it's crazy. But yeah, man, happy October, everybody. Hope and pray that everything is good for everybody. September was a rough month for my family. Um, I mentioned before, I had to rush home for a family emergency. I was doing a guest spot in Michigan. I am home now. We are focusing. We are pushing strong and pushing forward. I love my family. And being a dad and a husband, I am being a rock. I have to be a rock for these moments in life that are like this because it is very very tough and especially when you have younger sib you know younger kids and they they take everything and they just you know they understand but they don't understand at the same time so it's 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 been a very big emotional roller coaster ride you know so it's just one of those things but man what a crazy month i am looking forward to this october uh i had an amazing day yesterday um spent a day with my daughter she shares the same birthday as my mom so it's it's actually pretty cool man but uh yeah man we uh spent the whole day and she's so chill in some sense when it comes to certain things you know we let her skip school you know and we spent the day together we did our thing dad daughter you know and it was awesome and it's so funny the difference in ages and the way things go my son to my daughter is way freaking different man when it comes to you know birthdays and stuff like that so i it's 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 wild but it's 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 freaking awesome at the same time but yeah she's super laid back and she had the time of her life she she had a blast we did a big birthday dinner on uh sunday for her so we invited a bunch of friends and family over and um i did a giant uh crab bo- uh shrimp boil you know so it was you know big old bucket and we did all that stuff and got it rolling boiling and everything the corn the sausage potatoes had all the seasonings and everything in there and then when it got nearly done we threw in the shrimp and bang covered up the table and protected that big old sheet of plastic and everything and then drained it all real good and then dumped it right on the table man and everybody just dove in so it was actually really really enjoyable and fun and she had a blast that kid put some shrimp away let me tell you man she's in there ripping them legs and everything off and pile of shells and shit from the shrimp on the table it was, it was awesome man but she had the best man day and it was it was amazing and my wife did a great job getting everything together and stuff like that so we really wanted to make sure like 
with everything that it's gone on lately that we focused on her and her day and made sure that everything was properly set and good to go, you know, and Saturday was our day with the family, my wife and I for a celebration of life for our, her uncle who had passed away. So we went and did that. It was a great turnout. The, I have to give a shout out. So if you ever are in Florida and you're on a bike, motorcycle, whatever, man, you have got to stop by the Foxhead Lounge in Osteen, Florida. The owner, Marlette, good friend of ours, we've known for many, many years, uh, purchased this bar. I guess it's been a little over a year, maybe two years now. I can't quite remember the purchase, but she took it over and... Uh, it's a great little bar out of nowhere, man. Great bands. They've got food, pool tables, jukebox, darts. I mean, she took time out of her life to help me and my wife set this celebration of life up in the bar, and it was fantastic. And I'm telling you guys now, if you are ever in Florida, Osteen, Florida, 415 Foxhead Lounge. Roll up on your motorcycle, grab a cold one. They do a kick-ass breakfast. They they do everything, man, on the weekends. Biketoberfest is coming up, so that place is going to be mobbed. Jump in there. Tell them Philly John sent you. Grab a Bloody Mary on a Sunday. Grab something to eat. Drink some cold beers. Have a blast, man. But the turnout was awesome. The band was great. It was emotional. But it was also a time of stories and just enjoying life in general with friends and just talking stories. We set it up, man, the big table. We had tons of pictures. Uh, Uncle Gene was a vet, a uh, Navy vet. We had his flag. We had so much great memories. They did a plaque for him. There's a, a memorial wall of plaques in the bar. It's so it's super awesome. So many great people. But yeah, Foxhead Lounge, Osteen, Florida. Check them out, man. They're phenomenal. Great people. Marlette, Chris, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for everything that you did for our family at the Foxhead. But yeah, man, it was it was great. I uh, got to see some people. Everybody hung out, you know, and then we kicked it back to the house and we hung out out back telling stories and whatnot. And it was it was just a, a great time all in all. But September is over. It is now October. It is fall. We are ready. The kids are excited. The wife's excited. Halloween, the fall weather. Let's do this, man. You know, it's 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 that time another big thing for us man i you know i own the tattoo studio so i spend a lot of time prepping and preparing with my guys in the shop for this month is going to be a big month for us friday the 13th falls this year in october which is super awesome so we are going to be kicking it all dressed up for Friday the 13th here at the shop where we run our Friday the 13th tattoo specials. Yes, it's it's a cliche, you know, everybody does it, you know, but we enjoy it. We do it for you, for the clients, for the guests, for the people that want to come out, hang out, get tattooed and have a blast. But I'm telling you, man, there is sometimes funky shit. That happens when you host one of these freaking things in your tattoo shop. And let me tell you something, man. I've talked about this in the past and previous podcasts and stuff like that. Wash your ass, man. Some of these mofos that come in and get tattooed, I don't think they know the word soap. Seriously, man, soap. I mean, it's it's four letters, man, and use it on your body, man, because it's like, holy snikes. But let me tell you how crazy this shit gets sometimes, man. We get to the shop at like 8.39 in the morning. Doors open at 11. They're already lining up outside, man. Like, it's like 
what the hell? But yeah, man, they get out there and they get lined up, but they start hitting us up a month prior to, you know, everything. And they're like, well, can we see the designs? Can we see? No, you can't. What we have will be in studio set up. You can choose what you want from there, different sizes, different prices, you know, and we kind of go from there. We also got one of those kick-ass machines, man. So it's a hundred dollars. You get what you get. It's little containers like you know you would get at a prize when you walk into a convenience store you put 50 cent in or whatnot and you roll it and and you get the little bubble shell the acorn shell that comes out and you open it up and that's what it is it's a get what you get machine for a hundred bucks if you want to re-roll it's an additional 50 but it's a hundred dollars you get what you get all the designs are palm sized so they're a good size piece and they have color and we're going to be doing those as well. So it's it's going to be pretty dope. So now it's going to be the time that we're going to be kicking back in the shop, getting decorated, getting prepped, getting ready, start playing the Halloween movies and, and everything like that. And really, you know, getting into the vibe and the spirit of Halloween, you know. So there, it's going to be freaking awesome. So if you're in the Florida area, man, around Friday the 13th, swing on by the shop, Southern Ink Tattoo, man. We're in Longwood, Florida, historic Longwood. We're on Route 434. Our crossroad is Ronald Reagan. We're right before the hospital. It's going to be a bad-ass day, man. It's going to be a fun day, but it's a first-come, first-serve, so you got to get here early. You get on that list, man, because that list, I'll tell you, man, I've been here to 4 in the morning tattooing and still had 30 people on the list. We had to cut that off, man, and tell these people, look, we will collect. We'll have you fill out paperwork now. We're just going to set you a date and time to come back, and we'll, you know, take care of you when it's time to take care of you, so that's some of the things that happen too but man it is it's a good time it's a lot of fun and i'm looking looking forward to it man super looking forward to it but all in all it's just it's one of those things that you know it's such a cliche you know but i mean if you scroll through social media and stuff like that man you'll see that like there's a ton of people that do this shit and it's you know it's it's a lot of fun it you know it gets some of the people that you don't see on a regular basis come out and about and then they get something really kick-ass small and then you know there's the possibility of setting up for something larger later later on down the road but i it's it's a lot of fun man and it, there's some really really cool stuff but yeah man so we you know we're just we just been prepping and getting ready for that uh, everybody's been making line work and stuff like that so I mean, I've been doing this a long time, over 20-something years, man, but it's it's a lot of fun, man, you know, working on some new shirt designs and things like that. We, It's time to get things rolling. I think we're going to do a complete uplift in the shop as well, make things a little bit cooler and neater. You know, it's, you know, time to roll out a new look, a new image and stuff. Same great people, same great tattoos, just a different look, you know. Sometimes it's always nice, you know. It's like, you know getting a new car you know but it's not we're getting a new shop we're just gonna make it look a little bit you know i wouldn't say renovation but you know a little facelift doesn't hurt sometimes you know gets people's attention brings them in and, and they're like oh what's this you know so that's what we're looking looking at but man let me tell you there's some crazy shit happening. How about that little girl, man, that got kidnapped up there in uh, New York, man? Did you hear about that? Camping with her family up there, and uh, somebody, they were riding a, a loop on bikes, and she wanted to hit it one more time. And then uh, her mom started calling for her, and she, she didn't show up. And they, they got all worried, and they went out looking for her, and she was gone, man. She was gone. But thank God, thank God they were able to find her they got her back man they found her they they and they got the suspect in custody so she was taken by this dude this dude goes and he i guess he knew where they lived and he wrote a freaking ransom note and put it in her mailbox so they they were able to look at it and lift a fingerprint off of that check it through the system he had a record bang they got him man he was living in a trailer on his mom's property behind his mom's trailer so it's like what the fuck is wrong with people man what is it with people and kids man i'm telling you right now that's some fucked up shit man 
oh, I cannot, I can't stand that shit. I can't stand people hurting children. It just, it does not sit well with me. It makes me angry. It makes me, oh my God, man, just fucking people and kids. It's not right, man. It's not right. You know, these are, this is our future, man. These, you know, these are your babies and, you know, you got to protect them, you know, and it's just, it's just freaking wrong, man. It's just wrong. But yeah, um, you got other shit happening, you know, they want, um, what's his face out of Congress, you know, not the head dude in Congress now and shit like that. And, you know, and it's just like, what the hell? And then you got all this other crap happening, man. I'm not very big in the politics. I don't get nuts and go on this huge rampage on politics, but the shit that goes on anymore, man, it's just like, it's dumb fine. I'm just dumbfounded. Seriously dumbfounded, man. It's just like, what the fuck is wrong with people? But yeah, man. Oh yeah. Halloween. I can't wait, man. Um, We've got some cool shit though in Florida, man. A lot of cool amusement parks, Um, you know, uh, Halloween horror nights and shit like that. Uh, they got some really cool shit going on down there. Um, it's been a couple years since my wife and I've been down there. We used to go all the time every year. Her and I would escape for a night and go down, man, and just, you know, drink some drinks, walk around, hit a couple of the houses and shit like that. But it's, it's, yeah, man, it's definitely, definitely wild. So, Hey, what about this, uh, this guy, um, that YouTuber, uh, got shot in the stomach apparently uh i saw a video clip of him he was taunting a dude in a mall and uh dude ended up shooting him in the fucking stomach man i'm sorry you're gonna be in my face and kind of threatening way you know i mean i understand the dude's trying to do his prank videos and shit but i mean i do think some people do take that shit a little too far but dude just like straight up pulls out shoots him in the stomach and shit but they acquitted him man so look like shit's not going to stick to them and stuff like that. But that's crazy. So you guys, I mean, people got to be fucking careful, man. You know, shit like that. I mean, yeah, I find some of these videos funny as balls, man. But, you know, fucking with people in the wrong neighborhood, in the wrong spot, man, it's going to get you shot. And this kid got fucking shot and dude, dude got acquitted. So we'll see what happens and what what really goes further on that it's just ridiculous man totally totally fucking ridiculous uh what else is going on out there man um let's see we've got great movie if you haven't seen it um just checked it out the uh, Pope's Exorcist, man, Russell Crowe, oh, good freaking movie, freaky as shit, um, based on a real, real priest um, who was in charge of doing exorcisms, and apparently has done over 50,000 exorcisms throughout his career as a, as a, a priest and stuff like that, but that's, a, it was crazy, man, it was a really good good movie uh russell crowe plays amazing amazing role in this movie and uh he's just he's so talented that man um you know one of uh, everything you know he he's got some great classic movies out there um and it's just it's just awesome but if you get guys get a chance check out that movie too man it's pretty pretty gnarly but uh i know they got some uh new stuff coming out as well uh another another new movie that's out um i don't know if you guys i i am religious i believe in god i got baptized i was raised catholic but i turned myself around and i am not perfect nobody is perfect you know and but i read the uh phil robertson from duck dynasty had a a great book and i read his book and it really opened my eyes and changed my eyes on a lot of things but uh they just uh did a movie based on him and miss k's life man and uh called the blind saw the previews for it looked really really good i definitely gotta check that out the reviews and the comments on this movie are just so heart 
felt and warming that, you know, God bless that man and his wife and his family, man, did they, he did some serious struggling in his life and he was able to turn his life around. And he's such a very spiritual man and he tells it just the way it is and good for him and God bless him on that, man. But that, it looked like a really good, good movie, the blind, you know, based on Phil and Miss Kay's uh, life before duck dynasty and stuff like that. Um, Another cool thing um, is uh, I'm a big, big fan of comic books and, and stuff like that, but I'm looking forward to the new Aquaman. Yeah. I saw the previews for that. Holy shnikes. I'm pumped for that. I'm super, super pumped for that. There's a lot of cool shit out there, you know, and there's so much amazing fan art out there towards certain characters of DC and Marvel. I I would love to see some of this shit. There's some amazing fan made films. I mean, if you haven't checked it out, there's one out there. You got to, you got to check it out. It's Batman versus Darth Vader. Holy shit. That thing is fucking dope. Definitely check that shit out, man. It's, it's awesome. Uh, The flash finally got to see that a while back. That was, that was pretty cool. Little, little off for me but you know it was still fucking amazing i thought it was still cool um barry allen you know the flash and the way things came together but i thought it was awesome because my man michael keaton gotta love michael keaton freaking awesome and shit like that so but yeah there's there's some really good good shit that's out and about man and there's some great shit that's going to be hitting theaters soon too you know with the whole spooky shit happening saw a new saws out do you want to play a game you know some weird fucking shit man so but yeah there's nothing better than the classics though man got it like freaking michael myers you know you gotta you gotta love the old school halloweens man you know um texas chainsaw massacre that that shit man man when i first saw that shit as a kid dude that man i was scared fucking to death you know nightmare on elm street man you know robert england is freddy Krueger, man some great great shit man looking forward to it looking forward to it but yeah man there's there's some wild crazy shit going on out there but Halloween, man, you gotta love Halloween. Do you ever watch? Uh, they got some killer documentaries on Halloween, how Halloween came about, and you know the 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 growth of Halloween through the 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 forties and the fifties into now, man. But like nothing beats like the old school plastic mask, you know, you, you, you with the thin string and shit like that, and then the plastic tablecloth suit, you know. <laughs> oh my god. It was just, man, we had such a great time, man, as kids. I don't think kids today get it as well as, like, us older folk do now, you know? Because when I was a kid, Halloween was, like, the biggest freaking thing, man. You walked and walked and walked and walked, and everybody, everybody in your neighborhood gave out candy. Now you have to, a lot of these families travel to certain areas where they give out candy and shit like that. My neighborhood we give out a shitload of candy. We push out probably somewhere around three five-gallon buckets of candy. That's just my house. My neighbors across the street, diagonal, next door, all about the same, too. Like, Sam's Club, Costco, you know, BJ's, they make some freaking money off of us come Halloween, man. They... We buy a lot of candy. We give out a lot of candy. And, you know, I get yelled at by my wife because she's like, make sure you only give two pieces. I'm like, yo, that's a cool costume here. Take this shit. Wham, you know, (laughs) but uh, yeah, there's some uh, some cool shit, man. But Halloween is definitely. The best holiday next to Christmas and and stuff like that, but just our neighborhood goes ape shit. Um, It's really cool because a lot of our houses, the girls, my wife and the girls in the neighborhood, uh, they 
always set up and they do something together. So uh, the one year they were the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Uh, last year um, we were, uh, I was Jake from State Farm. My wife was Flo and our neighbor across the street was the uh, sister with the baby from the commercial. So like we all got together and, you know, we all plan stuff and everything like that, but we do it, man. Fog machines, skeletons, shit like that. The neighborhood goes nuts. You see trailers, you know, farm trailers going down the street, man, with tons of kids. And they start at one block, one end and they work their way up and they come back down. So it's, it's, it's really awesome to see that because it just brings back so many great memories. But as I was saying, there's these documentaries online. You can watch them. I think some are on like Hulu and Discovery and stuff like that. If you type them in Halloween history and shit like that, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool watching how things progress through the 40s 50s and into into now but it, it was a dying breed and like the haunted houses and the places that you know the old uh asylums and stuff that got closed down they they would use for like haunted houses i grew up in philadelphia so there was the old byberry estate that everybody went to and one of the radio stations would you know uh run their program out there during the the season and stuff like that but it's it's pretty dope man it's pretty exciting so i'm looking forward to that um i've got some really cool stuff happening coming up this month um going to be working on a special interview this weekend so you guys tune in next week for that one uh it's it's pretty cool a little um ufo stuff um and then after that, I've got a, a few other things in the works as well. I'm going to talk to and have uh, Ladina, one of my artists. She, she wants to hang out and do a little bit more on the cast and stuff with us. So kind of like a little co-host action going on. Uh, so, you know, you guys stay tuned and, and follow through, man. And, you know, happy Taco Tuesday, you know. So uh, if you guys have comments or anything like that, drop it, drop it. Drop them in and, uh, you know, please like, subscribe. I deeply appreciate it. Um, if you're listening on any of the Spotify, iTunes, make sure you click those five stars. The The more clicks we get, the higher up we get to go in the rankings and stuff like that. So subscribe, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification for new notifications every time a video drops. And if you get that five star on me the higher up i'm gonna go okay so i'm gonna cut this short this week i want to thank you all for tuning in and listening and please stay tuned for next tuesday's episode it's going to be a pretty cool one so i'm philly john i'm your host this is everyday bs man thanks for watching thanks for listening